All right, it is officially, I'm sorry I'm still sick, this is just the voice that we're gonna have to live with, but this is officially my last day on this Balkans trip. Is Slovenia technically part of the Balkans? I don't know, I don't know. I should have looked this up. <laughs> um, anyway, I am currently on my way to the bus station because I'm going to try to go to Lake Bled today. Uh, it's apparently like the thing to do in Slovenia. Not that I'm a follower or a goldfish in a aquarium. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, not that I do things just because other people tell me to do them, but it was highly recommended by a lot of people, and so I guess I am telling, doing things because people told me to do them. Oh, God. See, I think this is it's a good thing that this is my last day of the trip because this cold plus just the exhaustion of moving around is just taking a little bit of a toll. I'm a wee bit tired. In any case, um, I just ate breakfast at the hostel, and I usually don't eat breakfast, but it was free, <laughs> and I, well, I take free food when I can, <laughs> um, so I'm feeling kind of whew, heavy. We'll see how this turns out. I'll probably still be hungry enough for lunch. We'll see. Um, I'm rambling. This is not interesting. Let's go try to catch the bus. Check it. It's a lake. There's a tiny little island. There's no way you're going to be able to hear me, but I'm at a gorge. This is making me so homesick. Oh, it's so pretty. Snuck <laughs> for a closer look. Okay. And I'm kind of like all sandy. That wasn't very smart. Tiny little empty house. Tiny little bridge. This place is so cute. So I left the gorge, planning on walking back to Bled. Didn't realize it involved a hike through the forest. So I'm a little sweaty now. Good. Look. So currently walking down from the gorge to Bled. It's going to take me about 45 minutes. It's like three kilometers, apparently. But it's a nice day. Beautiful scenery. Eating an apple. Could be worse. Look how goddamn cute this town is!
I can't imagine actually living here. It doesn't seem like anybody actually does live here, but it's so quaint. Totally. Well, there's the mountains, but the fields just, it feels like home. Except at home I would never be walking alongside a highway. Ah, uh, Europe. After that walk, I'm absolutely starving. So there is a Taste of Blood festival going on literally right next to the lake. And I went with baby, it was veal liver and mashed potatoes, which, okay, I don't really want hot food, but there's not really any cold options. And then passion fruit lemonade, and I'm so excited for it. So I've been reading a Bill Bryson book um, with an unfortunate Eiffel Tower on the front that can't be helped um, during my traveling, and I'm reading it during my cafe respite. By the way, this cake is immense. That's half of it, and I need to take a breather. Also, the fork is not up for the task. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm just flipping through and turn the page to his time in Yugoslavia, which is comprised was comprised of a lot of the countries that I just went through. And it says right there, I flew to Split. I've been there. Can't wait to read this chapter.